My name is Dr. Anna Maria Young, and I am your radiation oncologist at the UF and Chan's Lung Cancer Center. My philosophy of care for my lung cancer patients is um, I want to give them the best chance at cure that I can possibly give them. Um, when that's not possible, then I want to give them the best quality of life that I can give them. And so that's really how I first approach my patients. Um, and, I, and I do that by really involving them in the process and figuring out what's important to them um, and making what's important to them what's important to me. Some of the cutting edge radiation therapy treatments here at Eufin Shands um, are stereotactic body radiotherapy. That's um, one of the newer technologies that we have here. Um, we've really worked hard to um, make it the best program that it could possibly be. Um, it's a highly sophisticated program where we can actually really focus the radiation on a tumor um, and really do a, a good job of limiting the radiation dose to the surrounding normal tissues, which then limits some of the side effects that you can get from radiation. Um, the other benefits from this technique is that it's actually delivered in a very short um, overall treatment course. So it's delivered over about a week to two weeks instead of six weeks. Um, and it's actually very effective at completely killing the tumor. The benefits to patients um, seeking care at a university medical center versus a community um, hospital um, are really, I think the key benefits are that you're seeing physicians that are specialists in their field. Um, so for example, with lung cancer, I'm a specialist in lung cancer, that's what I treat and that's what I do. Um, the other physicians that treat lung cancer are also specialists uh, in lung cancer. Um, another benefit is that at academic centers such as the University of Florida, we have a lot of clinical trials that we're running. Um, you know, we're very interested and active in research, and so we can offer our patients clinical trials um, if they um, will fit into a trial, and that can often be a big benefit to them. The multidisciplinary approach to cancer care is extremely important, and that's really because cancer can't be treated by just one physician alone. Um, there's really three um, facets to cancer care, surgery, radiation, and chemotherapy. Um, and for those three treatments to be delivered effectively, um, those three types of doctors need to be talking to each other and need to be actively um, involved in the patient's care, making decisions about what the appropriate type of treatment is for, for each patient. Um, and here at, at UF and Shands, that's our approach. We are talking to each other, we are coming up with treatment plans um, as a group, and we um, are um, actively communicating with each other throughout the entire um, treatment as well as follow-up for each patient. When lung cancer patients come to UF and Shands for treatment, um, they can expect really a multidisciplinary um, uh, uh, approach to care. So they um, first interact with our nurse coordinator who's um, excellent and she really is the glue that binds all of us together and keeps us all communicating effectively with each other. Um, they'll interact with Andrea, the nurse coordinator, um, and she will actually set up um, a patient to be seen in our multidisciplinary clinic, which is where um, myself and the medical oncologist um, who specializes in lung cancer um, sees the patient. Um, and a lot of times on the same day, the patient will also see the lung cancer surgeon. Um, and so you actually get to come and see all of the physicians that um, would be a part of your care. Um, and so it's an effective way to get everybody involved 
um, all at the same time and talking to each other about the patient's um, disease and the plan of care. In my opinion, the benefits of having a nurse navigator um, to the patient is that it's really a point person that um, the patient can go to with any question um, and the nurse navigator has the ability to figure out how best to get that question answered. And the nurse navigator really can guide the patient through um, this really very confusing and often scary process of being diagnosed with cancer, um, meeting new doctors, and figuring out what the appropriate treatment plan is. So I really think that the nurse navigator is a crucial um, part of good patient care, and our nurse navigator is, is really excellent at what she does. Um, as far as the benefit to the treatment team, um, the nurse navigator is the glue that keeps us together and she really makes it so that we can communicate effectively with each other um, and she makes it so that if there's any missing piece to the, the puzzle in terms of figuring out exactly what's going on with the patient, she can access different information and get it to us quickly. Um, so she really um, simplifies and streamlines the process for both the patient and um, us as physicians. In speaking to patients and their families, um, I really think that the aspect of care that they value the most is the, the personal level of the care here. Um, you know, all of my patients are, I treat my patients as if they were my own family members. And when they need me and they need me to spend time with them, I do that. And um, I really think that that's what patients respond to the most and appreciate the most. They know that I'm taking good care of them. They know that the medical oncologists are taking good care of them, um, but they really appreciate the, the time and the hands-on approach that we take. <laughs>